know what's gonna happen here. Oh, yes, indeed. The Fleetwood four door scours the area. Start right here. I mean, for a car of its size, it handles pretty darn well. It just. It can't quite avoid things on the fly like other cars can. I mean, it's okay at these speeds, but at higher speeds, it, it's pretty stable, which means it won't react super quick. Although, with, if you're a good driver, that shouldn't be a problem. Here we go! <laughs> Love how this thing sounds. It's got this throaty. Oh my. <laughs> It's like cow tipping. Oh, I spun it. That's the thing too, this engine does have a decent amount of torque. You will spin the car if your hand goes overly hand this time. I like Fleetwood. Fleetwood go vroom! <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, 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 she got it. This section's always hard for our cars though. It's downhill with multiple bumps. No, it just wags its tail. 425. Oh please. What, am I supposed to be scared? Oh, please! Step aside, peasant! Let a real full-size car take point! Oh, 
Watch yourself, yo. Yeah. There you go, you got speed. You might spot you, but you're going so fast. Oh, wow. I actually have to be good faster. Wow. See, I think that's almost what you're supposed to do. You want to go so fast that you go past the landing, but not so much that you hit the parked cars. Fleetwood! I'm feeling brave, not whippy. This is my borough. I'm not afraid of these silly, silly geese. The flock does not perturb me in the slightest. I'm sure I was going to that. Owie. Yeah, I don't think so. If there's anything that this car does make me appreciate the buff that ABS gives so many cars. I mean, it's not bad if once you know how to do it, but I'm also doing this under ideal conditions. I will turn on the rain at some point and really see what all these cars can do. Because anybody can say a car drives great under ideal conditions, but put it in the rain in this game and suffer more traction penalties and still come out on top. Oh no. That's just the width. That, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Now, thank God I, I increased the durability of this thing a lot. The da engine damage multiplier was 1.5 stock. I think it's down to 1.37 now, which, that's a lot more of a buff than you might think, because you illustrate the Banana, that's a 1.33, so this is a pretty darn sturdy car by the numbers. And I better handle it, too. I'm not quite as ground clearance. I can't quite push things around, but the meta isn't pushing things around. It's avoiding things. So this car is really trying to do both, and I think for the most part it does very well. I love how it sounds too. This exhaust is amazing. <laughs> what an odd bounce. <laughs> As per usual, the rocker panels take a beating when I drive. Oh, I forgot I can lose a the airplane. Yeah, brokers are really fun girl. There's a lot of ways to play it. Music art performance extravagant. You make it. Oh, I love this song. I wonder why. This car looks awesome. I love how it looks with these wheels. Woo! Let her rip! 425, big block, master race, ascension confirmed! My foot's to the floor. I don't give a fuck. I'm fearless driving. Well, I'm say fearless. I mean, I'm confident, but not fearless. Oh my god. It's the width, man. That's the one thing that hurts you in this car. At least you have good ground clearance and good damage resistance. Woo! I will own one of these cars one day. I love the 77 to 81 full size catalogs. Because they get all the benefits of the downsizing with the big blocks that were indestructible and decently powerful, especially for their time. The only thing that really helped back was fuel economy. That you can blame on the lack of overdrive transmissions. I love how they combine the vertical and horizontal value in these cars.